I think I would say that firstly, caffeine has a half-life for the average adult of five to six hours, which means that after about five to six hours, 50% of the caffeine is still circulating in your brain. That means that caffeine has a quarter life of 10 to 12 hours. So if you have a cup of coffee at noon, 25% of that, a quarter of that cup of coffee is still in your brain at midnight. So I don't think many of us would get into bed and sort of pour a quarter of a cup of coffee and then swig it and then, you know, put your head on the pillow. We understand that that probably doesn't lead to good sleep. But in some ways, that's not dissimilar to what you're doing if you have a cup of coffee at noon. Keep in mind, however, there is variability that some people have a faster capability to metabolize or at least clear caffeine from the system. So firstly, the timing of caffeine can be important. Also the dose. And that's why we've looked at people, even if you just have one weekly sort of drip brewed cup of coffee in the evening, let's say it's just 100 milligrams of caffeine, it will not necessarily prevent you from falling asleep as efficiently, but it will increase the chances with which you wake up. And if you wake up, it will increase the duration with which it takes you to fall back asleep. Mm. And if it doesn't do that, it can also reduce down the depth of your deep sleep. So you really would prefer not to try to degrade the quality of your deep sleep, considering all that it does for your brain and your body. But in some ways, that's what many of us are inadvertently doing if we have caffeine too late in the day. Mm -hmm. I would say, though, that I've probably changed my tune a little bit on coffee. I would say drink coffee but the dose and the timing make the poison. Try to, as I said, cut yourself off after about three cups of coffee and try to, you know, cut yourself off at least 10 hours, you know, as a rule of thumb before bed. The reason I reverted back in some ways to say coffee is not necessarily a bad thing to drink. If you look at the relationship between drinking coffee and the health benefits, they are non-negotiably astronomically impressive. 